One morning we will wake up and find that we are in a very different world. Last year, the bank was worth $41 billion, but in 12 months, its share price has plunged by 93%. UK Bank Barclays planned to buy part of the company, but it thought twice. The challenge now to allow it to die gently. An orderly liquidation is in the interests of every other bank. This isn't just Wall Street's problem. To dump all Lehman's assets at once would depress the market worldwide. Politicians talk about paying down the debt. You can't do that without collapsing the entire economy. All the politicians are in a situation where if they don't come to the rescue, we could just have an overnight shutdown. So there's always this wish to kick the can down the road. We're going to be talking about you know gold not just going up you know for twenty five dollars in a day, but fifty dollars, a hundred dollars in a day, a thousand dollars. You're going to see a very rapid decline in the value of the dollar in a matter of days. There have been dozens and dozens of currency collapses. NASA scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet 600 light-years away. It's thought to be about 2.4 times the size of Earth. The so-called Kepler 22b orbits in the habitable zone above a star similar to our Sun. The planet's been named after the Kepler Deep Space Telescope, which spotted it. We even caught the glowing orbs on tape. Glowing orbs flowing high in the air. Thousands of people saw these four mysterious lights in the sky mm. outside Phoenix Monday night. It's a UFO. The United States Air Force said it could not identify them. Air traffic controllers from two different airports say they saw the lights, but they definitely were not from any of their airplanes. Just that they looked like very, like, in a formation, that they had a purpose. Strange red lights, brighter than a star, moving slowly in a triangular shape closer and closer. Boeing 737. Okay. Where do you get your uh, your knowledge from? How much time do you have uh, in a, in a oh, pilot? Oh, there's another. Oh, oh no. Okay. Explosion. An explosion. Multiple explosions, ladies and gentlemen. We just saw another explosion. Uh, obviously. We're just watching it again. It's the first time. This, this is, is now. This is the other tower, ladies and gentlemen. Another explosion at tower number two of the World Trade Center just happened live on our air. Russia, China, China, Russia leaving, leading this new global movement to balance the power in the world so that they can build a new world order. the unrecognizable front end after what must have been what almost uh, to a person everyone uh, who's come on the air uh, tonight agrees has, was a a high-speed collision uh, um, there in Paris tonight Dodi El Fayed uh, dead uh, Princess Diana dead at the age of 36 and this was quite simply the biggest uh, longest lasting earthquake I've ever experienced here. We were completely unprepared for this. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful spring day. It was sunny outside. I had just come home from a uh, little errand to the grocery store and all of a sudden, bam, it just hit. And you could tell this was different instantly from other little tremors that we've had before. I mean, it just picked up in intensity. It ramped up.